we've done. We basically just re uh, got back our uh, original circuit. So we've got it's a clacker box again. There's a clacker box. <laughs> and uh, what we've done, I've just simply put the um, a brushless sequence on there through these read relays, and then through the the main sort of the output relays, if it were. And what I've got here, and I have to put a glove on top of it because it flies around a bit. But if I hold it like that, you can see it. So obviously it turns, and so that gives us the ability to mount magnets and read, uh, read switches, which will substitute the uh, those, and then we'll see what happens. Basically, there's red tape on here as an attempt to try and um, dampen the because uh, it's the way it works. You can see, look, it just jumps around, obviously, because it's uh, there's no it's just BLDC, but it's pulsed. See here, <coughs> thing, and it's just to try and keep the uh, current down because we don't need it to be full. I'm only actually operating it on three volts, <coughs> okay. um, and the motor is a seven and a half volt motor, so you know it's not going to damage the coils even at three volts. But it tends to overload the power pack if I uh, if I make it so that it's uh, all mark. And then it can lock. I think the power pack keeps cutting out. That's 50%. There we go. And now it's actually going to almost fully mark. There we go. You mean almost? There. And eventually it'll, the relays will change the sound. And you'll hear it. Because there's no space. There you go. See? No, it's nice and quiet. And so now, what it is, and you can see it obviously because it's wobbling and it needs damping really. <coughs> and there's the original clacker box relay, just doing BLDC. And you can see, I don't know if it came out in the original video that I did way back at the beginning, but you can see the relays changing. So this is one phase. This is another and this is another. And it's the high and low side. I don't know which is which, it doesn't matter. <coughs> As such. And that's obviously triggering it from there. And these are the same, so you've got like uh, probably high and low uh, W, V, and U, U, V, and W. Just move this light a bit out of the way so that makes it easier to see. There we go. <coughs> yeah. And so you can see, I mean, the whole thing, it's, it's obviously, it's just the original, except for I've got a different set of read relays on a separate board, that's all. In the original. And we've got the disc affair. Just so you can see, it's basically, what I've done is I've tied it on with string and then I taped it so that it didn't uh, move around. Uh, see the bit of stripey card I've cut it from. There we go. There you go. Pretty straightforward if I just stop the vibration. Uh, a bit of card from one of the uh, head bolt sets that I got. Recycling. Yeah, so what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to, on this disc here, we'll mount magnets, one for each phase, uh, one for each uh, electrical rotation. I think it's seven to one on this. And, uh, and then we'll put reed switches here and obviously you can see how it's going to work and then instead of having the read relays here with the uh, a brushless sequence it will be done through that and I'll have a um, it's going to be using this board here oh, that's the wrong one uh, there. so yeah, as you can see that's the original board there <laughs> and so I it's kind of what it was is that the original board uh, yeah. okay so the original board and I had the um, <coughs> this is the relay the sort of driver relay set off the original board sort of went there do you know what I mean and I snapped it away because these read relays are really they're all half of them blue uh, too much current I think or something I don't know back in whatever anyway 
Um, so I've got some better relays here, you see. So basically that board there has been substituted with this board. And then we've got the relays. And uh, yeah, so let me see how it's all going to work. So there, so we've got the original relay board there, the high power relays. I'm saying high power. Yeah. <coughs> and then uh, it's just a diagram of how it's wired up. Oh, we've got the diagram of the other board as well, because I put that on because I thought it was worthwhile adding. There's the diagram for that, because it's that one. Okay. And, um, yeah. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect up a, a board to do this diode matrix here. So that's the last bit to make. And once I manufacture that, then I've got my diode relay. But it's a, a six-step sequence, you see. This one's using a 12-step. So I'll have to redo the software for a six step just to make sure we're okay. And then once I've got my six step sequence in there, I can then do it using the relays, the reeds, these guys. The reeds there, and the uh, magnets, and lots of tape. <coughs>